Hi there, my name is Laura. I'm executive director for Walk and Shop Partners in Real Estate. This video is going to be a lesson on how to use Skyslope if you are new to eXp or still getting used to the program. It's actually a really easy software to use once you get used to it, so I hope this video helps you. Okay, so the first thing you should know is how to add a listing to Skyslope. So we just had a listing go live today, so I'm going to show you what to do when you have a new listing. So on the Skyslope homepage, you're going to go to create listing. Enter the property address. It may come up for you, or you may have to switch to manual entry. This listing is a sale, not a lease and it's being listed for 375. Our listing commission is 2.5%, sales commission is 2.5%. All you're doing is entering in all of this information that you can find on your listing agreement and paperwork that you signed with your client. It asks me what year the property was built. I'm just gonna skip that one, it's not necessary. The source of this deal was a personal referral. Um, just choose whichever one is applicable and the seller of the property you can add an additional seller if it's a couple or two sellers in this case it's just the one so double check that all of this information looks good this looks good to me i'm going to press create my listing so here is our checklist there's checklists for all of the transactions that you'll be using on skyslope Everything with this red required button is the documents that you need to upload to Skyslope. But to get these documents here, there's two ways you can do that. One is just click attach, upload document, and then find in your files that document and attach it that way. The other thing that you can do, so we're looking for the working with a realtor. Here it is. You can just take it drag and drop it into that line and then it will attach that way. I'm just gonna go through and do that for each of the required fields. There's also optional fields at the bottom here. So we have had our client sign a seller's direction. So I'll take that and attach it there. And now that those are all attached, the administration people at eXp are gonna go through them. If there's any mistakes, they'll flag it and let me know what I need to change. And then the next thing that I need to do is say accepted contract once we do have a deal. So I'll get back to you in a couple days once this house is sold. Okay, so the property is now sold and we have the deposit in hand. So I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so back on this home screen, we're gonna go to manage listings to find our listings. This is the one that just sold, click on it. You're gonna scroll to the bottom and say next. Make sure all this information is still correct. Submit. And you can see here that EXP has confirmed all of the documents that I've uploaded. They're green saying completed. So now I'm gonna press accepted contract. So now you need to fill in all of this specific information to the transaction. Your MLS number, checklist type in this case is a seller, whether or not it was an office lead, the acceptance date, which was yesterday, closing date. In this case, the property was sold firm, so I don't need to add a condition removal date, but if it was sold conditional, you would add that as well. So I've filled everything in here. I'm going to press next. And now I've already filled in the seller information. Now I can fill in the buyer information. Save, then move on to lawyer information. You'll fill out the buyer's lawyer and the seller's lawyer. Then you'll add in your cooperating agents. If it is a lawyer that you've used before, you can start typing it in and your contacts will come up and you can choose one. Okay, now that I've filled in all of this information that I can, I'm gonna press submit. And this takes us to our next checklist. So same as what we did before, we're just gonna drag and drop our files until all of these required fields are filled in. Okay, so I've dragged and dropped all of my files. These are all filled in. Again, if it was something conditional or if there was any amendments or other fulfillments, you would drag and drop them in here once you have them. If it was a double end, you would fill in these other double end sections. And now something great about Skyslope that I can do is if I go into documents 
And let's say that I want to send all of the paperwork from this deal to my client's lawyer. I can select the files that I want to send, press email, and their lawyer will come right up because I just filled in the lawyer information. So you just start typing their name in this to file and you can send them an email and those documents will be attached. You can also go into log and see what emails you've already sent to lawyers or to exp or to the other agent in here as well and just so you know you'll now find that listing under transactions as opposed to listings because it is a sold now transaction okay now really quickly the last thing that you'll need to know how to do on skyslope is create a transaction for a buyer so you're just gonna Go to your home page, click create transaction. You can search for the address. Again, you're gonna fill in all the information. Checklist type this time is obviously a buyer. Fill in all of this information, go to the next page. Once all of the basic information is filled in, you'll just need to drag and drop your transaction files, you're working with a realtor, buyer representation agreement, fin tracks, the APS, all of that. And then once it's all there, the EXP transaction managers are gonna go through it all. They will send it to lawyers for you. It's really easy for you to send it to your lawyers by just selecting each of the things on the checklist that you want to send. And there you go. If you have any questions about Skyslope at all, you can leave a comment or you can go ahead and call the real estate agent that I work for, John Walkinshaw, at 519-942-7413 and we would be happy to work with you. Good luck and happy selling.